Hello, welcome. Try, take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so we have a logarithm problem here where we need to solve for x. And let's just start playing around with it and see what happens. So uh, 3 times the ln of x equals 6 minus 2x. I'm not sure what to do with this. Maybe you are. But if you try to solve it by dividing by 3 on both sides, that seems like a logical step. We get, if I divide the right side by 3, I get 6 divided by 3 is 2, minus 2 thirds x. And now I'm stuck. Okay, what can I do? Well, I could rewrite it using the definition of a natural log. This is telling me that e to the power of 2 minus 2 thirds x equals x. And here I'm into, I run into a situation because the tool I have to solve this is then take the natural log of both sides and I'm right back here. But then the tool to solve for a logarithm within a variable is to somehow use the definition of a log or to raise both sides to a power. And I'm back here, right? I could even try saying, well, for this step right here, if I, use, if I raise the base, use e, e to the ln of x equals e to the 2 minus 2 thirds x, that's just going to get me right back here as well. e to the ln of x is just x. Okay, we got that here. And then and that still equals e to the 2 minus 2 thirds x. So can we solve it using algebra? No, you cannot, as far as we know, you cannot solve this using algebra. And I feel like I could say yes, because maybe someone will discover a way to do that. I don't know that there's a proof as you can't. But I don't know a way to deal with this algebraically, so we deal with it graphically. So I'm going to enter this in. Go to y equals, and so y equals, clear up any old stuff, clear, clear, and just graph these two things and see where they meet. Press the ln of x, okay. Then I have, you know what, I'm gonna plot the original, sorry, three times the ln of x, and then a line six minus two x, and graph to see what happens. You can see the intersection. So I'm gonna hit second trace. Go to choice five, which is intersect. First, you see up top in the calculator, it says pick a left bound. So I scroll to the left of where they intersect, hit enter, and then do it again to the right, hit enter. And at the bottom of my calculator screen, what you're seeing is the point where they meet. The x value is 1.977, and the y value is 2.04. And they want the x value, so we should get about 1.98, and that's the nearest hundredth. All right, hope that helped.